went to a strip club. I had two strippers dancing at the same time. This your favorite? This one of them. One of them. I ain't gonna lie to you. I got, I got, I got some shit to let you niggas. Oh yeah. Like I'm a baby fan though. Little baby fan. Huge. Okay. Yeah, I'm I love little baby. baby what era are you? I'm ninety. I'm born in ninety. 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 Yeah. Ninety. 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 Cause man, when Kevin Gates came, he had to he had to get a slide in that. You know what? I've tried to be a Kevin Gates fan. I just can't listen to his voice too much. I get over it. I don't know why. I've been trying to listen to Funeral album, the Lil Wayne new joint. I just that slow ass. It's decent. It's hey hey. Was Mahogany Dance for it? No ceilings. The first. You can't beat that one. Come on. You can't beat that. Anything before that? Come on, you can't beat none of that. That Wayne was dropping. Yeah. Drop three, drop one, drop two. I didn't learn about the drop because I'm from Bikel, Illinois. And so, you know, back then technology wasn't what it was. Yeah, just, just a little bit behind. Yeah, yeah. so I was in Champagne, Illinois. I was behind on no ceiling, though. No, hell no. <laughs> hell no. That mug just it <laughs> dropped and the drop. world went crazy. Yeah. You so you know your music, that's what's up. Yeah. All right, let's get into it. All right, All right for sure. Yep. Streets 105.1 DJ, DJ Credit, man. I am in the building. What it do on this Monday? Hey, I got a special guest. And, and I was I was I was reading about him. Man, this man. man you motherfucker need to fuck around and run for Congress. Hey man, I'm I mean, on the way. I'm he on the way. Hey, listen, he does a lot. I'm gonna let him introduce himself. Go ahead. Hey, what's going on? It's fine wine, aka Mr. We Just Living. A.K. Winehouse from Decatur, Illinois. I'm out here in St. Louis living the best life. I can't even complain. Oh, you from Illinois? Oh, yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. Okay. I'm from I two hours away. Yeah, the couple partners from Illinois. Okay. I'm, I'm from Tennessee. I'm from the South. Oh, my, my family. Yeah, my, <laughs> back, my family from uh, down south. Oh, yeah. What yeah. part? Uh, Mississippi, Texas. Oh, they right across the Yeah, bridge. yeah. Right there. Yeah, except for Texas. They're going for 13 hours. Hey, but it's, it's you know. It's, it's lovely. There. It's lovely down it's there. It's definitely lovely. Hey man, so tell me what you what you got what you got going on. I know I read about it, but this ain't you know what I'm saying. I ain't gonna disclose all the information it. like that, I man. I wanna it. hear straight from your words. Let the people know what. Hey that man, so I've been in St. Louis for ten years since 2009. I came down here to play ball at Webster, then I transferred to Umsel. And so I, after that, I was able to gain a network that would help propel me to my future. And so um, this month, February, is my last month in St. Louis. I've been, wow. Yeah, I've been, been here for 10 years, so I'm doing my going away party February 27th at Blue. And the big thing about the 27th is it was two years ago I started We Just Living. That's my lifestyle brand. But before that, 227 had a bigger meaning because I came from a dorm room where uh, I met three other guys, uh, came from 227, and we all decided we wanted to start a brotherhood and build uh, this network and this lifestyle, and so when you know it's a fellowship, so 227 yeah. is bigger than just a date. So it's bigger than just a date, bigger than just a date. Well, I'm gonna take you back a little off subject. All right, that's cool you, with you. You say you played ball, yes, sir. What ball? Basketball, okay. but I played football in college. I mean, high school, I couldn't went to any college in America to play and, football. and, and Hawaii and, and to play football. To play football, I was a slot. Position. slot. Is that on your wrist? Oh, you know, I'm a nuke. You know, I'm, I didn't. Beta new fall fifteen. I didn't. Trey Club. I didn't do the Greek. Okay. Take you back to the sports. I did play sports at Murray State. Okay. I played. I played football. Got you. What's yep, what what position? Play. Let me get. Right. Okay, you already said yeah. running back. I was gonna put you on defense because you look like you like and you DB. might want to hit. Yeah. yeah. And, uh, a little safety here. Okay, so I played strong safety. Safety.
You know what? That was my first position in JFL. Then I went to tight end. You play at AFL? JFL. Oh, man. JFL, Junior Football League. This man, man. Man, look. you know, in Decatur, you got to kind of do everything, you know, because it's not everybody's family. And it's only 88,000, but when you, once you start doing one thing, you start doing others. Like, I'm a musician as well. 88,000? You mean, like, that's it? Like, that's the it. Whole, the it I mean, it might be decreasing now because everybody, since networking and technology has, you know, grown, everybody's dispersed. So we started going to, like, Indiana. Uh, St. Louis, Texas, Atlanta, uh, just all over the world. We start seeing new, new things. So let me just ask you this: I, I know on your on your Instagram and on your actual website, mm-hmm. it is say more than just a brand. Yes, sir. It is a lifestyle. Yeah. Are you are you thinking about at any point in time taking that back to where it all started for you in Illinois? You or know what? Or, or, or because I know you said you got to move. Yeah, so yeah. You got to go further down south. Yes, sir. Well, I'm actually going to Phoenix first. Well, you're going to Phoenix first. Yes, okay, sir. okay, okay. So are you are you gonna? Transition that and take it back up there. Yeah, um, so that's the biggest thing. I, I I feel like I'm I'm about to be thirty this year, right? Okay. And so now you got to start doing different things. So I've given for me, I feel like I've given St. Louis everything I possibly can, and St. Louis gives me everything that I whatever you put in, you're gonna get out. You gonna get out. And so now I feel like I'm at a different stage where I'm able to give back to Decatur because now I'm going back. I'm smarter. I know different networks, different people, and how to make things work. And so now I can give back in a different way. So now, you know, most people are like, oh, well, you got to do this for St. Louis, do this. And I get that. You still got to give back to certain, but I can't give as much for St. Louis as I can for the case. I'm still going to be here, you know. Oh, exactly. So I'm going to, you know, come back to events. Yeah, Yeah. come back to events. But I got to actually do, make, I got to give Decatur more progressive. So that's got, my biggest thing. I got the same thing too when I left the M. Everybody was like, "Oh, what are you gonna do for me?" I'm yeah. like, well, "Damn, let me get on my feet first. I'm gonna come back." Shit, I'm definitely gonna come like, back. Cause it's a lot of like when people be like, "Oh, you're so amazing. Nobody's like you." I go, I can go back to my city, and it's it's thousand people just like me, musicians, yeah, for athletes, sure, for sure. and we all do the same thing. We just have a place. We don't have a place where we can have an outlet, and sure. so you have to have enough confidence to get about your position. So that's why I'm taking a leap on uh, leap year to go to Phoenix. I heard that. Yeah. Streets 105.1, DJ, DJ Crater. Hey, I'm going to go to a couple commercials. Man, we're going to drop a couple little hot bangers and we're going to come right back. You feel me? So stay tuned in, locked in, loaded. Do not turn that down, but turn that volume up. You hear me? Hey, but check this out, man. I got, yeah, yeah. I got, I got, I got. Hey, it's fine wine from We Just Live. Fine wine. Hey, hey, hashtag it. You feel me? Something you do. And what was your uh, Instagram again? Was it fine wine at? Five one two two seven. Two two seven. I seen that. that two, two, yes, I told you that two twenty seven. Hey, of course. Hey, shout that out again. Tell them your. Hey, five one two twenty seven, or uh, we just live in two twenty seven. It's a lifestyle. It's a lifestyle. So let's get more into the. It's a lifestyle. Yes, sir. That was, my, that was the first thing I seen. That was the first thing I seen. Yeah. When I got on. Um, you know, man, where it came from when I graduated college in two thousand sixteen. I had a media production company at the time. Uh-huh. And I wasn't getting as much support as I thought I should because, you know, you do all these things for other people. And then once you're doing this for other people, it's just like you would expect something in return, reciprocation, right? Uh Uh-huh. And I wasn't getting anything. I wasn't getting no shares. I wasn't getting no likes. I wasn't doing it. So I went through a depression. So in my depression, you know, when you you go through depression, you drink, shit. Sometimes my only food I could eat was sleep. Okay. You feel me? But then one day I woke up. I'm like, man, I can't be doing this. My mom and I helped me paying my rent. I got to figure figure this out. So I took a, I just walked outside and walked back in. I'm like, you know what? I only, I don't, I'm not the most handsomest. I'm not the most smartest. I'm not the most fly, but I bring a little flavor to the game. Yeah. And so once I realized that's what I'm going to do, Flavors became my first event. It was an art fashion show. So it brought in live artists, live painters. Um, of course, a model, a, a fashion show. It was just an atmosphere that creatives and people that needed a platform to be on for it could, you know, ex, you know, express their talent. And so after that, it just became a lifestyle and more than a brand. So I started doing uh, pool parties, things that you had fun in high school. Yeah. Most people think they're too cool for that. Yeah. So we went skating, we did all kinds of things. I'm, I'm just like, you know what? I'm not, I don't, I'm not a party type of guy anymore. As I got older, I'm just like that shit gets lame and tiring. So I'm a photographer. So if I'm in a club, okay, I'm taking pictures. I'm working. But then when I realize when I'm just sitting down, I'm bored and I'm wasting money. So I'm just like, you know what? I'm going to do things that I think is fun. And if nobody else is enjoying themselves, I'm enjoying myself. So I don't mind spending, you know, $400, $500 on just entertainment alone. I know I'm being entertained. So sure. after I got out of that depression, got a different job to help me uh, with some more financial freedom, everything just started flowing. So, so, so basically it's a compilation of everything that you have 
built inside yourself and you put and you basically just putting it out there yeah. for the people, man. So I have a curriculum for my students. I'm a uh, life coach, if you want to say. <laughs> a- yeah, uh, ages uh, 16 to 24, so I created a curriculum. This We Just Live a Curriculum that encompasses. Every, every four seconds we find out something new. Hey, photographer, yeah. life coach, man. It, it's a lifestyle, man. It's you know, lifestyle. And being from Decatur, like I said, you have to do everything. So yeah. being a musician, I played in church, so I play a lot of instruments. Uh, so when you say being from Decatur, you got to do everything, is that because of the... The, the, the low population numbers, I mean, you, you can just cover more ground, like help, helping everybody in the city. Like, that, you to go definitely back to Decatur, that. you'll be able to be the head honcho. Uh, yeah, the if blood, I go, if I go now, yeah, because yeah. I, I have, since I've been in St. Louis, I've got to see certain things. Yeah, sure. You know, and being in Decatur, you don't see certain things, you just do certain you things. Do, yeah. So then when you go out, it's like, okay, well, this is what I'm really good at. Because I went to L.A., quick story. I, me and my boy, we graduated college, we drove out to L.A., 27 hours. We said we was going to be performing on the street because, you know, we had a band. We released the album. So I'm like, okay, we're going to do that content. Didn't do none of that content. So I realized, okay, I don't want to just be a musician that's just playing. I'm going to go get my camera and go, you know, around L.A. and shoot, just take pictures and do videography. And, and that's where, you, you know, that's where I got it from. I was just like, this is what I'm going to do. So, but so, I'm working on my album, though, right now, by the way. It's dropping at the end of the month. It it's called Forever Notice, now. volume one. So how, how, how has all of this made you into who you are today. You know, I feel unstoppable. Only I can stop myself. Just like Ghost said. You know, you, yeah. you, you feel it? You because feel it? once I realized when I ain't have nobody, even, I ain't gonna say that. That's that's shade and everybody know it. But um, <laughs> when I realized I didn't have nobody, I'm just like, you know what, it's just me and who gonna tell me no? Who gonna sure. be, in my, this is my exact quote, who gonna beat my ass for the things I wanna do? Yeah. Nobody. And if my mom it makes me feel like I can do anything in this world, so 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 I don't want to go too deep into your personal yeah. life. Like, what did you what did you what did you what what, what trials and, 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 and what did you go through to get you to that point? Because um, well, you sound like you 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 got your shit lined up. You sound like you got all your all your T's crossed and your eyes dotted. And I just want to know how did you how did you get to be so stern on yourself to make yourself better for the well discipline one. So let, let's backtrack this a little okay, bit. Yeah. So two thousand, I moved here two thousand nine. Okay. I, I transferred Umsl two thousand nine, two thousand eleven. That year, mind you, I didn't know Umsl didn't have school on Fridays. So we party in Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and, and Tab was definitely around at that point in time. You feel me? So Thursday we'll be at um, uh, Club Europe. Friday we'll be at Sick Talk. Saturday we'll be at um, Pike, and then Sunday we'll be at Sugar Lounge. So I'm partying. Is Pike the white frat house? Yeah, the white frat house. Uh-huh. Man, they got yep. up so we were, you know, just partying. So I realized, so then my grades are trash, basically. So yeah. I had to go home for a year to make sure I could prove to my mom I could work, do all these other things. So in return, I realized, okay, well, I don't want to be back in Decatur. So that's that, that's the border. That's the base and foundation. I don't want to be back here because there's not enough room to do what I want to do. For sure. So then I came back, made the dean's list. So that's 2012. Met somebody that keep, kept pushing me forward. And then I got into a band in 227. We all uh, linked back up. And then I graduated. And that was a big goal because graduating college can take forever sometimes. So then after that, went through 2016, the depression. And then when I seen through my depression who actually had my back, I never went back after that. And after that, it, you got paid me for my so time. So you actually did hit rock bottom? Oh, bro, I'm sleep. Sleep is my food. Ooh. Literally. Ooh. Sleep was my food for a couple of days. And everybody think, you know, just because I have a job. Cause I got, man, I worked at this one company. They didn't pay me $200 for three months. And so after that, I'm like, you know what? Ain't nobody going to push you like you're going to push you. And then I had to learn, you can't expect you from nobody. And once I learned that, took expectation off everybody, I don't, you know, I just, for me, it's just like, I know I'm going to do it. Like, I like walking places and getting rides from people. Because I know I can, I can achieve I can what I do. My own. That's it. Yeah. That's it. That's and I, I was in New York. I was with some friends. They wanted to get in some Uber. I'm like, I ain't never been to New York. I walk and I beat them there. You know, so for me, it's just I mean, like, just, just I, I'm all I got. And I, I don't have no family here in St. Louis. That's, that's I, and I don't have no family. Honestly, I don't have no family in the, in the within a two-hour perimeter. So yes, for me, I, I'm all I got here. I mean, I got a girl and, and, a, and a little daughter. But See, I ain't got no girl. You I feel know what you're talking about. You talking about family. Family, family yeah. anybody, like support. Yeah. Like, only supporters I really have are my close friends. That I'm with, you know, as soon as I get off, they be yeah, in my watch crib. Out, watch out for son too. Yeah, facts. Because cause I done had, man, I done had one of my partners telling me, man, I'm talking about weed that bitch. Hey, I just got <laughs> friends again with one of my, one of my brothers. 
a year ago because he didn't want to support me the right way I needed to. You know, but I've read a few books, made a few different. You know, I've had my errors and ups and downs, but I'm still here. Most definitely. Yeah. So, 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 could you go in depth with exactly like what do people expect in the future with your? I know, man, yeah. we're not gonna say brand. We're gonna say with your lifestyle. Man, man um, you know, I'm I, what I what I want to do is I want to keep on getting this curriculum, curriculum together to actually just push because I mean I'm not I'm not religious anymore. I, once I dropped that, I realized if you can accept yourself, that's the only relationship you really need. Because yeah. God, you are God. In certain you know aspects, I've studied different you know philosophies, and after I learned that, you know, I just want to push this um, movement that you are you're all you need. And once you have that relationship with yourself, that's all you need, and you can go as far as you want to. Confidence. Uh -huh. Most definitely. Hey, so check this out. <clears throat> I'm about to go to a quick commercial break, and I'm going to play a couple more, just a couple more hits. So you got some little baby over there? Man, I got, let me see what I can, let me see what I can line up for you, man. Because Southside is my joint. I'm from the Southside oh, of Decatur. Okay, okay, okay. So, I'm, I'm, I'm about to line something up for my boy, and look, we're going to get right back to you. Man, Streets 105.1 DJ, DJ Creative, I'm in the building. Check it out. Oh, that's some hot shit. You shoes. know he getting out this year. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Hey, and, I, and I told my niggas, I said, when that nigga Bobby Schmurter get out, mm -hmm. Because my, my favorite song by him is that Bobby Bitch. What? Bobby, Bobby Bitch? bitch. Catch a body. I, mean, I, was, I was fresh in college, too. Yeah, oh, my God. Yeah. I'm bald head, so I just used to... Uh, you feel me? I'm almost there. I'm almost there. <laughs> nah, you ain't... No. I'm thinning right here. Makes, my shit makes to make dollars. Woo! I'm talking about... I got a couple more years. Libra. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> like, I'm completely bald. Like, I, I just go ahead and... So, when did you decide you wanted to do it? Man, so, like... She interviewed me then. That's what I'm talking about. Look, so, <laughs> so, so look, so about like 2000 and shit, I ain't even gonna put no date on it. About 21, I was about 21. Okay. Uh, you 28 now, right? I'm 28. Okay. So about 21, I was just like, I don't know, I went through like a depression like this, and I was I, I was dating this young chick. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Of like six years out of high school and all this other stuff. So we went through our little thing, and mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? One day I was just like. I mean, I had a line. Yeah. It, it was it was still like, oh, but you could still see. Like, I was still crispy. You know what I'm saying? I had waves and all that. Oh, I see. Yeah. So, but, I mean, it looked good on you, though, bro. That's what, that's what everybody said. So, I tried it once. Yeah. I got discouraged. I was like, I'm never going to do this shit again. <laughs> see, I, I'm, I'm scared. My hair shape might be. Then, yeah. I, then, I, then I, I met this other chick. Yeah. Like, my sophomore year. She was like, man, that shit look good on you. Just rub, rubbing on my yeah, head. Hey. Yeah. And then, I'm, then my baby mom. Said, yeah. No, she her, her thing was only like light skinned Chris Brown looking motherfucker until she met a you know what I'm saying a real yeah, the baby nigga, you know what I'm hey, saying? You, I was the baby. I love my chocolate, you feel me? You feel me? Hey, so, I so, love so, chocolate women. So so when she met me, she was like, Man, this nigga so like her whole family, everybody was like, ah, so I just decided like, to keep like, it, man. Uh, yeah. I went I went I, I decided to go ball like a while ago though. Yeah, yeah, I got a couple more years of this. And hey, then man, I, keep that shit. I'm trying as much as I can. Because when it's cold, it's cold. Oh, you hear me? That's I why feel. I wear these year round. I ask, ask them. I be in the summertime with my with these like real shit. Yeah. Nah, I wear some shorts, short sleeve shirt, fresh ass shoes, and I throw a beanie on. Hey, bro. I'm using with it's a hat. Cold. I usually got a hat on some type of hat. Man, I ain't come on, tell me about it. Hey, <laughs> hey, so check this out. So one more one more thing before before. You know what I'm saying? We about to head about it. I know you got. I know you got a busy day. I ain't gonna yeah. hold you too much longer. But we gotta hey, do this again. So what? What aspects are you looking from? Like, explain to the people one last time mm -hmm. the the lifestyle that you're trying to show everybody. So the, I mean, it's really. I see it yeah. so much on your Instagram. And your yeah. Website. They mean to cut you off. I see. Are you good? I, I see that it's just so much, but like. What are you pinpointing though? Like, what is the number one thing out of all this shit that you're doing that you pinpoint for these people to know? I, I mean, hope I say this right. Now. I okay. hope I say it right. Authenticity. Oh, okay. You know, because you can't fake a life, a okay. lifestyle. Ooh, and when I try, and when I travel around the world, uh, I've been like last year I went to Atlanta four times and I went to Florida four times and a few other places in the world. And you know, as I'm speaking and doing my pop up shops. I'm realizing, like, oh, I can't just sell this like any other thing. It's not like any other product. This is like you gotta right. you gotta sell this to let people know this is what you're doing for real. You're trying to change your life and change other people's lives so they can be strong with themselves because it's all about confidence, time management, and networking. And if you don't have any of those, then you ain't gonna get nowhere. I hate when, I hate when people say I'm not a people's person. I hate talking to people. Well, how the hell you think you're gonna get somewhere? You need people for access. 
and the access puts you in rooms you shouldn't even be around. You're going to look around and say, how the fuck I get in here? <laughs> like, when I got my so, camera, I'll be like, I'm in prestigious spots. I'm like, how the hell? They, they like my work that much to just bring me in just to do what I do. And it's like, it, and when you look at it, it's a blessing because now that you have that platform, you can usher in other people. And that's my biggest thing also. I'm able to employ people or give people options yes, sir. to have different, yes, sir. you know, or just change their mind and perspective of what they think work looks like. And that's like, what we're looking for with the people, bro. Exactly. Somebody that can give a lending hand is, is not, and, and not be selfish about mm -hmm. giving a lending hand or try to take it. Because you do a lot to yeah. it. You don't have to give a lending hand. And, and let me say this. I'm hand. not the type of person who wants to take people take advantage of people in certain situations. That. Like, you know, for that. instance, like, I have a certain amount of power. For sure. You know, I'm not just going to just have a different motive behind that. That's one, as of, I started as a model, right, Randall? I know another thing. I started as a model, and people, you, they try to take advantage of me just because I didn't know a lot. Right. And so, um, but I, I still have my morals and integrity, so I ain't allow certain things to happen. But when I'm talking to other people, like other inspiring models and models, they say, oh, this photographer did this, this videographer tried this with me. And I'm like, that's not what you're going to give me with me. You're going to get business from me first. And then if you know something after that, then we can figure it out. Yeah, we can probably But, uh, but I'm, I'm being business and because I, I don't want my name to be ran in the dirt no type of way. So I ain't going to allow nobody to do that because at the end of the day, your word is your bond. And people only work with you for what you can give. For sure. Yeah. Now, 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 now one last thing. All right, let's get it. And what's this big ass event? I see it. I see Woo. the flyer. I sent it on the website. As soon as that, as soon as it pop up, boom, it's in your face. It seems so unreal. It for seems, myself. It, man, it seems so unreal. Like I said, I've been here for 10 years. I've met some great partnerships and just friends and just good opportunities. And you know, when you move from one place and you move to another, you, you know, you gotta, it takes a lot. And so uh, it's my going away party on the 27th at Blue. It's called Leveled Up. And if you see on the flyer, the Leveled Up is digital. Because it's a time, and after Kobe passed away, I'm like, it's not, it's, the time is now. And so that's when you look at the flyers, digital, like the, the leveled up says digital, or oh, it, it's in digital font, and it's right. letting you know, hey, it's time to go. It's your time now, because when I started the leveled up series, I'm like, what am I going to, honestly, I didn't even go in for a party. The party was presented for me, and then I'm like, okay, well, I need a name, for leveled sure. up. And right. it's like, well, shit, I'm not going to be doing these other parties. I'm like, this is for the working class. So when I'm bringing them in, I'm like, okay, well, hey, this is for the people who actually really put the work in. They want to, you know, get leveled up and do more things for the community and themselves. And so leveled up came. And so, hey, I'm traveling. I'm making moves. And you can do the same thing. So we all got to level up together. That's and, where and, and, and one last thing, man. Yes, sir. Before we get up out of here, what, what, what encouragement would you give to the people, man, to, 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 to strive, you know what I'm saying, to do better, you know what I'm saying, stay on the right path, keep a clean head, because I know you said that you went through a lot, you yeah. know what I'm saying, to get you where you at. Man, what, what, what's, what's the word that you can give? Man, I tell my students this every day. I used to have it on my, in my class. Well, two things. Progression, not perfection, because when you aim for perfection, you, you miss all the, the journey, you get tunnel vision. But the biggest thing is find you, be you, and love you. Because once you do that, everything else falls in place. You don't need nobody no, or no validation. <laughs> And that's, that's what I'll be saying. So, it's you know, we just live. It's more than a lifestyle. You know what I'm saying? It's a lifestyle. Get it right. Most definitely. You know it's more than a brand. Hey, and, and make sure you spit out that Instagram one last time for the people. I cut the beat out right quick so they can hear you. All right, check me out. Fine Wine. It's, you know, like Fine Wine gets better with time. Uh -huh. So, Fine Wine 227. And then, the you know, the lifestyle page is We Just Living. No G on Living, but 227 at the end. Yes, sir. Y'all heard it first right here. Streets 105.1. I go by the name of DJ Creative. Hey, my brother, appreciate for coming in. For sure. Stopping in. We're going to do it again. Know, man, man, come in. We got a feature together. Whenever. Yeah. Whenever. I mean, I got free range on my show. So if you want to come on, I, it's like this every day. Just me. And I, I'll be here, here. You popping here. out on 27? You in town? 27, man, if I'm in town. If you're in my, town, hey. That's my word. Because I actually leave like almost every weekend. Yeah. But sometimes. It's a Thursday. I do. Okay, it's a Thursday. If you are, hey, ML is going to be there. So you right. pop out with him. We're going to, you know, pop some bottles. We're going to do, so hey, no, you're going to be here. you going to be here this weekend? Hell yeah. Pull up on me Friday. Hey, the right wave. I'm bringing my camera. Okay. Say less. Hey, come. Ah. Say less. I'm with you. Man, we're going to We networking. Yeah. 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 <laughs> like I said, man, your choice for here, pop on the streets. Make sure, hey, don't touch that down, but turn that tone up. And make sure y'all go follow me on all my socials. That is, I am DJ Creative. I am DJ K-R-E-A-T-I-V-E -E with no C. You are rocking with me in these streets. You bastards. <laughs> <laughs>